Ray Gillenwater here, Starting Strength Coach. Today I'm going to tell you what equipment you need to do the Starting Strength Program. So firstly, you need a barbell, 45 pounds will work for most men, some weaker or smaller men might need to start with a 33 pound bar on the upper body lifts. Same applies to women. And for the significantly detrained or elderly, a 22 pound bar might be suitable for the upper body lifts. This is the Starting Strength Bar. Uh, it's a good value. If you don't buy this bar or use a bar at a commercial gym, make sure that it has collars that spin for the power clean and for the power snatch. And make sure that it has a center knurling to ensure the bar is secured on your back. And also double check the weight. So if you're, if you're going to use a barbell at a commercial gym, take the bar over to the scale and make sure it weighs what you think it weighs. The second thing you need is a rack. This is the starting strength rack from Texas Strength Systems. It's an expensive rack. If you're on a budget, you can go as cheap as some uprights in a Home Depot bucket secured in place with concrete. Those uprights can be made of just wood two by fours. So you need a rack so you can squat, so you can press, so you can bench. You will of course need plates. These plates are from the Strength Co, the strength.co. You will need 45s, 25s, 10s, 5s, and two and a halfs. You do not need 35s. What you do need are micro plates, and you will need these after a couple of weeks because your press only goes up five pounds at a time for a couple of weeks. So buy these early so that you don't get stuck, and then you'll need them on the bench shortly thereafter. You also need collars so you can secure the plates onto the barbell. If your gym does not have these, bring them in your gym bag. And speaking of things that you might need to bring in your gym bag, chalk. Purchase some standard mountain climbing chalk from Amazon. Bring it to your gym in Tupperware. If they don't allow it, sneak it in. If they catch you and are angry with you, you might need to change gyms. You will also need weightlifting shoes. Buy these immediately too. These are the Adidas Powerlift weightlifting shoes. You can buy them on Amazon for around 60 bucks. These are important because you need a flat, stable surface to do all of your lifts from. They've got a bit of a heel, which helps you hit depth in your squat. And the metatarsal strap secures your foot in place so there's no moving around. You will also need the proper clothing. So purchase some shorts or pants that are stretchy and will not impinge your movement and purchase a 100% cotton shirt. This is an American all style shirt. It's three or $5 at the five or 10 warehouse, something thick, uncomfortable cotton. This will help ensure that the bar is secured on your back. Don't buy the poly blends or the shiny performance wear. It, they're too slippery and they're not for starting strength. You will also need a bench. This is a wood butcher block bench, the starting strength bench available from Texas Strength Systems. Uh, if you don't have this bench, that's fine, but you do need a stable bench to press from. Uh, if your gym has a very squishy pad or it's not secured properly to the floor, that's dangerous. And then lastly, you will need a flat, level, stable surface to perform all of your lifts from. If you don't have one at home, you can build a platform. If your commercial gym doesn't have one, don't lift at that gym. You need to find a new gym. And then finally, the bonus thing that you need is proper coaching. So if you're new to lifting weights, if you're new to starting strength, you should hire a professional if you can afford one. If you can't, then do your best, read the books, go on the YouTube channel, look at the forum, submit your videos on the forum for form checks. But if you can't afford a coach, that is definitely the best way to ensure that you make progress for as long as possible and that your technique is safe and efficient. Thank you.